on the internet hi How's every- i haven't seen any any of you eric and megan you made a new person since the last <laughs> time i've seen you you're the Whoa. most important you're the most important people in this fake room right now that's the baby monitor that's yeah. what we're mostly doing yeah she barely went to sleep five minutes ago we're not oh. gonna hear for much of it. how you how you hang it you you look well I put on makeup for the second time this year you go the first was to make this video the second was tonight. I didn't put makeup on for 12 months after we had our first child, so you're already doing better than me. <laughs> Dan gave me an excuse. What can I say? <laughs> well, there I, he I, is, our video editor extraordinaire. I have a lot to say I about. I can't figure out a computer, I but I have a lot to say, and I wasn't going to say this. And Paul's heard me say this before because I've seen the video a couple times throughout. The hey, season. Derek. Um, <laughs> hey, D Rock. I uh, it made me cry. Is anybody else feeling this? I cried. I, yep. I, I, I'm still feeling it now because the song is, it's really poignant and it's seeing all of you guys and not being able to see you guys for so long. It, it's really. Definitely having the visual to go along with it. I mean, I just played my bass track when there was uh, drums and, you know, Chad's guitar track guiding me. Uh, but it was pretty, you know, stripped down when I put my part down. So just seeing the fun, the finished yeah. track is, uh, it's pretty amazing. And, you know, gets you right in the feels. Mm, big time. More so than, um, well, I mean, I, I always get a little weepy when it comes to some of this stuff. I mean, you've probably seen me, you know, blubber like a baby rumble nights, but uh, this is really impactful. And um, I know that, that all of you play, you know, a really big part in this, um, but Dan, you you led this charge. So let me let me back up and say this. So Henley Row All Stars is this community. But what is Henley Row for people who are watching right now and don't really know what that is and what it means? Um, it's our recording studio. All these people here. Um, it's a little place. You know, I, I'm on the fourth recording studio. So this is the fourth one I built and. This is the one where all these people get to come and play. So it's uh it's a fun place. Jed and Jen. Hi, Jed and Jen. I see your comment. Jed and Jen Gottlieb are watching. Hey. Hey guys. Um Henley Row is a six car garage, but Dan and his wife park. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so figure that out. Fair it's enough. a pretty it's thanks, a great thanks, uh, thanks for breaking up that the the, the seriousness <laughs> there, D. We appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, um, thanks, it's, I, it's the reality. I it's, am, it's an I, amazing place. I, I did promise my wife when we moved that she would have a place to park <laughs> her car. Um uh, uh, I watched the whole transformation go down. <laughs> but we can fit a car, but then we bought her a really big car. So because you know, we grew um as people. Um and the people that we made grew bigger too. So um and they punch each other in the back seat of one car. So we had to get a bigger car. Um and that's <laughs> and, and that's that kid to the swamp. <laughs> so we built a bigger car. Uh, <laughs> that's so great. So where did the where did the the initial idea come from for I mean the melody is really I mean, I've, I've been humming it in my head for, for days. So congratulations on that. Cause you have a song that sticks in someone's head. You have succeeded. We're, we're such an earworm. <laughs> yeah. Big time. Where did it come from? Where, tell, tell me the story. The genesis of the show will go on. Um, I, I, you know, I feel bad about this part. Um, only because we're donating money to the lizard lounge, but you know, live nation and all that. Um, it came from the, the uh, the paradise's billboard their their marquee that says the show will go on which mm. is featured on the album cover uh, the photo of it so um i don't know i just saw it and i think i pinged these guys i think i sent out a text within five minutes of seeing it and told all these people i was like there's a song here um uh, there was a lot of people on it on the text i just kind of was like to everybody let's go um like let's let's try to figure something out um, and then as I typically do, I, I called Nate and was like, and he hit, he hit me with, he's like, all right, what do you got? <laughs> I 
Um, and I sang them what I had and we figured out the rest. So it was uh, just one of those. I mean, they sometimes they just come like that. Sometimes they don't. What was the turnaround time? Because it was a pretty rapid fire from, from my peripheral of what's been going on. I've been heard I've yeah. heard a little of the chatter around the house, but I don't really know the whole story. I mean, I felt like it was faster than it was. I went back. Oh and yeah. The, the melody was the 30th, right? So the melody was the 30th. First guitar take was December 3rd. And I, I'm not an idiot like her or a savant. I actually went back and looked at this today because I was like, you know, maybe <laughs> this question will come up. Um, so, Good thing. so, so the, so the, um, so then, then there was some key change talk. And so then there was an email that went out on the, uh, there was an instrumental of Nate and I that was probably done on the December the 3rd. So like three days later, um, and then, uh, which was the story that I asked you to tell me, because you said the, the la la la. So you're like, so Nate's, Nate sent me back a take. He said, what are the words? So I gave him the words and, and like, we, we went back and forth a little bit and I, I'd finished the words. We had another, another Zoom call like this. <laughs> and he was like, all right, what's happening during the la 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 parts? And I was like, nothing, la la la's. Like oh, people, I want people to sing. Like, I want people to like, I don't want them to have to like, remember some complex you know stuff like i just want it to be like blah 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 so that's great like i'm i i'm imagining the day when we get to like play this in a club like all these beautiful faces here and 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 we get to like all come up on stage and like every like nobody has a problem singing along like it's really easy like it's la 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 like you know I, and also if we'd have chosen words like we wouldn't have this many people on the record <laughs> <laughs> like it's probably just as much for everybody here as it was for the idea. I mean, the sentiment was good. So, uh, but the drums were recorded on the 18th of December. Um, and poor Derek started getting one video clip at a time <laughs> on like the 20th. Like, well, and I mean, going back to what you were saying, Angel, it started off as, you know, the idea was to kind of go through, you know, really focus on the bartender sort of that and then it sort of was like hey dan i need more footage to cover this thing because yeah. i just had like that stuff and i go i need performances or people and then he just got out there and i just started getting all these videos in and and every day it got better and, and like you said the emotions really start mm. going you get every video is coming in and and i'm seeing all these people that i normally would see you know on a monthly basis and uh, now so it was beautiful to see and beautiful to put it together but yeah, it's it was really a metamorphosis. I watched the whole song change every day. <laughs> it was getting mm -hmm. new things, and and the whole video was changing every day. So it was it was a uh, it was a fun process. Unfortunate to have to do it, but uh, I'm glad to be a that's part when, of it. That's uh, when that's when I cried <laughs> during the whole process of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's a there's a two kinds of crying. In it's our own. It's sort of our own, and this is a an '80s reference, and half of you will probably get it. It's sort of our own hearing aid. <laughs> Dan gelled off this whole thing. This was, a, this was a Dan gelled off move. So good, good job. This was not easy to get everybody together remotely, come up with ideas, discuss the ideas, polish the ideas, yeah. Yeah. and then produce something. I mean, uh, Otis. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, it's impressive considering that, you know, yeah, we all are housebound for the most part, but everybody rallied because um, it's a, it's a, it's a really important, it's a, well, there's so, there's so much wrapped up in this. How did, um, when you went to the Lizard Lounge and told them, which you are at right now, Dan, clearly, um, when you went to the Lizard Lounge and told them what your idea was, or or did you go to them with the finished product, I guess is the question. When you presented this to them, what was the response? Um, I sent, I reached out to Billy. Billy told me to reach out to Nick and, and Holly, and I sent Holly an email. Um, and I only sent her the words, and I asked her if we could record at the Lizard. Um, and she sent... She sent back a very, very kind email, um, mm -hmm. rather a little bit emotional, um, you know, just to, and just said that, um, that the residency has always been a favorite of the people at the bar and, um, and that, 
you know, which all of you have played at some point in time, if not once, twice or seven times or in six bands or I don't know, whatever, um, you know, it, it, that it's always been something that they enjoyed and that they were very excited and that the lizard lounge is like a bomb shelter right now. Um, you know, so, um, cause they had to basically dismantle the whole place to make egress for people who are sitting outside in the tent to oh. make their way to the bathrooms. Oh, so there's, so the, the back parking lot is still a outdoor dining bubble. Yes, from what uh, I understand. Uh, and so what they had to do is, you know, that weird door that's at the back of the lizard that everybody always goes, this is weird door at the back of the lizard. Mm -hmm. Like why? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That weird door actually feeds up to the main entrance from the back. So you can come in that door, go right and go down the stairs. So if you're eating outside, you come in, they, they needed to increase bathroom capacity um, in order to increase the amount of tables and seats. Um, which is obviously fortunate Fascinating. For them. They can keep it going, right? Yeah, I, I thought the same thing. I was like, well, that's crazy. And then they said, but, but you can get towed and we'll find you somebody to um, to be the bartender. And uh, which takes me back. I mean, we're talking a lot about us and the song and all that stuff, but mm -hmm. the immediate consensus was, oh, you know, let's write a song for the bartenders and, and New Year's Eve and 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 because New Year's Eve is usually a big night for bartenders and Absolutely. let's try to raise some money for them. Um, I have a great question to that segue. It, it, Nicole Tomorrow wants to know, I see cocktails, what are you all drinking? And then we're gonna talk about how you can help the bartenders of the Lizard Lounge. What y'all drinking? I'm drinking red wine. Champagne. Old fashioned. I'm drinking a Craig oh, Small. Nice. Craig Small, uh, Sham, Sham Zilize. <laughs> It's a cognac. Oh, drink. oh nice. Mine's That's empty. A, I'm drinking a treehouse. I have a whiskey out. drink, but it, is, it has um a like special a apple apple cider syrup that the Gottliebs gave me. Ooh. So it's really good. I felt uh, like I need to go home and I am drinking Aperol and I opened this bottle at seven o'clock and I have to say the mistake to where it is now. <laughs> Awesome. I'm basically going to bed as soon as this call is done. <laughs> Champagne. I'm going to drink after. I just got out of my, I was telling them I donated blood, so I I had to eat first. Oh, you so drink after. right after you donate Yeah, blood. all right, Lisa. I forgot about that. I have another question. Ready? Um, this is from Mark K. Uh, my question is, if it wasn't for COVID, do you think that you would have been able to get everyone together to record to record as quickly as you did? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Dan, Dan Nicklin's like a well-oiled, Henley Rowe is like a high, what is it, a high, high capacity bit, like. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think it would have been, uh, the, probably faster because you would have had a bunch of us at once i think yeah, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> good point i wouldn't have tracked a whole me. like vocal melodies to the wrong key yeah it would have <laughs> like, that might not have happened for dan probably <laughs> but I, I think we're all in in some capacity all working at henley row actively right now in one way or another so too so it's like yeah. it, accessing all of us is pretty quick and easy right now Mm -hmm. What yeah, has your I mean, experience been like, Erica? You did your your EP at Henley Row. Working on it, yeah. This must have been very different because you were, we're all stuck at home. Because I was what? Sorry. We're all, we're all stuck at home. Yeah, well, so um, I've been, uh, thank you to my, my superheroes, Nate and Dan, who have guided me through trying to learn how to record remotely, which has been a bit of a monster. I'm like the least technical person. And definitely in the Zoom call. Um, and I w had been working on like just doing scratch vocals on the EP throughout the summer so I could get a sense of how I wanted to sing them. Um, this is sort of like an agreement we came up with to mitigate being in the studio as much as possible. So I, I mean, I did what I could. I, it doesn't mean that it takes away from like the utter um, fear and insecurity I have that like what I'm sending is good enough because I think that all of my everything I send is, well, I think everything I send is crap in general, and then, you know, add on top of it, and like, not great technical prowess, so it makes me a little nervous, but it seems to Yeah, but that's one. what makes, but that's what makes you, you, and I'm saying this for my own benefit as well, because we, we do judge ourselves harshly, all of us do, especially women, 
And um, but that's the beauty of us as individuals is you have your own style, and that's what people want. They want you it's coming down a lot. How you do it? That's great. Yeah. Is everyone hey. still out there? I should be out soon. More. Okay, more sure. about Erica ZP. Jay <laughs> Gottlieb said. Yeah. More about Erica ZP. When is Erica ZP coming out? The, <laughs> the singles out. When is Erica ZP coming out? Well, we well, did get kind of coming out, right? Yeah, it's uh, yeah. We got. I mean, we did get kind of trapped with the holistic release given the the pandemic situation. So we're kind of going to be doing a couple more singles throughout the next year, and then doing the hopefully knock on something um, full release in the summer, mm -hmm. assuming that we're able to actually have like a full show formal release situation. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. So what is um all of you that i'm looking at and it's still really beautiful to see your face even if it's on a little rectangle except for you paul um <laughs> what's um i'm happy to see paul um what's uh what are you and uh, you know david mirabella i know that you have been actively doing a performance a day so everybody oh, praise know. david yeah, mirabella for being fantastic, even if two assholes think you're just a cover guy, we all know differently. I'm just about to say, <laughs> we thank you all for promise we know differently. Um, what are you, what are you working on? Um, you've got a you've. I think COVID is the muse for some people. What are you working on? What do you got going on? Loaded question. I mean, I unmute, 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 Dave, unmute. The first unmute of the meeting. <laughs> oh, should we like drink there or I something? And then now I'm blushing. <laughs> yeah, um, while doing the song a day, I've written a bunch of Good. new songs. Yeah. Um, so goal is sort of to, when things sort of settle down a bit, get recording some of them with, you know, with, with, Nate, with Nate, with rationales, with myself, and uh, see what happens. Cool. But yeah, writing a bunch and just trying to keep going with song a day. I love doing it, but it's mm -hmm. also you know, a bear. Some days. Do you have a list of stuff that you, you're preparing to do? You just kind of wing it today. I'm going to do. Almost every day the song I put up is a different song than I started with. Like I have wow. no, idea, no idea. It's just what my voice allows. Like I'm not a person who's good at singing every day anyway. So just sort of wing it, see what works. Alash, Dave, Alash. Do it. <laughs> All right, maybe tomorrow. What else? What's everybody else working on? You've got to have something up your sleeves. I mean, I, similar to Dave, not at the same capacity, but like, I've never done, I've never done a lot of like cover. I mean, when you're young and you're like, I got to cover PJ Harvey's Billy and like that, you know, I've been doing these random like covers with the acoustic guitar, but like, I love that song. But like when I was 13 and starting to play guitar, there's no way I could hold that down and sing it. So that's been like kind of fun to just do stuff as like focus on me doing like covers by myself because that's not necessarily what I do a ton of. Um, and we kind of similar to Erica, we were in the middle of recording a full length and then COVID happened. So we're, we like snuck out the rec, the um, reckoning is here and then we've got other stuff that we're working on, but it's just been a little bit tricky with the pandemic to keep like, you know, we're kind of trudging along here and there when we can, but it's, it's been like a, you know, we're hoping to have something out when we can all get back in there and do a bit more tracking and all that jazz. Yeah. David Santos and, and Chuck Ferreira, you guys did a video on the beach in the summertime. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you pull that off, getting everybody together? <laughs> it was It's tough. beautiful. It's spectacular. But how did you do that? We just, you know, it was like force of will. You know, we, we had this little tiny window of time. My friend and collaborator you know was in town and we only shoot videos with him and uh, you know we had a german germ of an idea the those ruins were kind of like a star you know and so we just were like hey let's let's we got this little bit of time we got a window we met at four in the morning and <laughs> on scarborough uh, beach oh. in in rhode island and uh oh. It was so dependent on the weather, and the weather was just like, you know, perfect. absolutely perfect. And we wow. did our thing for three hours, and that was it. You know, it was just, it was amazing. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Four in the morning is, uh, it's an early call time. <laughs> I don't miss those days of getting up that early. Uh, I, I actually did not. I just stayed up. Yeah. I was like, I was like, That's well, I'm just, gonna, 
Yeah, I'm just going to stay up and drink all night. Uh -huh. you, you know, the, the, the idea for the video was that it would look like the band had been at a party previously. So I was like, all right, you know what? If I don't go to sleep and I just have a couple glasses of whiskey before I hit the road, perfect. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> Well, some of us, some of us do those things. So, <laughs> Except for his method acting skills. You're, you weren't really playing. You were just, you know, going through the motions. So you're off. I was, I was actually just panicking at how my classic um, Vista Light Ludwig kit, like rust was forming on the rims Ooh. as we, as we played on the beach. Like it was so moist out. <laughs> that I actually was seeing rust develop as we played. I was like, oh. how is this possible? <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, that was that was really weird. Uh, it was just like everything was wet by a half hour into the video shoot. So, but it was fun nonetheless. <laughs> it was fun. Moist as Nicole tomorrow says. <laughs> <laughs> We're all talking at the same time. Hey, Nikki T, moist panties. Naked So let's, I want to talk, this is what I want to get at. So the song, the show will go on, available now at henleyrow.bandcamp.com. And the goal is to drive eyes and ears to the Bandcamp page to donate and download. And Dan, pick it up from here. What's the goal? Um, I mean, just you can. I just got notified that you couldn't a second ago pay whatever you want, but you can now. So just pay whatever you want. <laughs> um, before you could only pay a dollar. So congrats to all you guys who got in. Um, early without having to feel bad. You can come back now or ping, ping me later. I will get your email addresses, so feel bad. Um, I, will call, I, will call, I will call you out if you're only leaving a dollar for your bartender on New Year's. Um, so, oh, it's, it's, New, it's New Year's Eve. Tip your bartenders. Yes. That's all I can tell you. Like, you know, it's tomorrow, New Year's Day. Your bartenders again. Just keep tipping them. Um, old Jack will specifically be making a donation um, for the first uh, $300 that comes through, we will be doing a match uh, specifically for Sean and Brian, uh, Sean the bartender and Brian the sound man. Um, so for the first $300 that come in, we'll just be going to them directly um, because they've been with us for four years or, or five years um, at, it, religiously every week. Um, and I, I, I just, when I try to wrap my head around how much this sucks, for people in the music industry, oh, I'm, outside. I'm creeping in on I'm creeping your. In. Right. Yeah, I'm, creeping. Creeping. I'm creeping on I'm your. Up. The phone, so there's like. Not yeah, for for in. those. Creeping. creeping. There's a mute button. Um, yeah. Who's here? For, for those. Um, for, the, for those. For those. Just in general, like I just I don't. New Year's Eve, like if you've worked in a Wait, restaurant. What is, what is Eve, this? Eve, I can't hear the audio because. Chuck. Sorry. Hey, hey. Sorry. You, you, I muted you, Chuck. There you go. Um, yeah, New Year's Eve is just one of those big nights that you make a lot of money. I mean, and you know, I mean, old Jack, we try always to take care of the people who are around us and the bartenders and the and the folks. And and I don't know, it just, it, it, the song, I don't know if the song was supposed to come out like the way it came out, but it came out about the lizard. So it was like, okay, let's clearly that was something we had to get out of our uh, off of our chests and and it's a you know i mean if it wasn't about the lizard i don't know if dino would be here i just saw him not like dino loves the lizard like you yeah know, been uh, doing, uh, my daniel pearl day show there for eight years and you know a lot of you have i think uh almost all of you have sang at it dave you missed it a couple of years because you were sick dave santos you're coming the next time and yeah you too um and yeah, I love the place. Yeah. It's like, I mean, it's that's the point, right? I mean, it's so it just came out, and so it just ended up being like, okay, let's support the bartenders. And it's, you know, I was I went through some guilt about the charities and who we should put on, and I, you know, I have a list of charities if anybody wants to know. Pete Boyd is doing some great stuff with getting food to people who work in hospitality and. Um, like getting them supplies and food and things that they need. Um, and I, I'll, I'll post the link in this conversation in a little yeah. while. 
and there's save our stages, which while I had massive amounts of speculation when I went through the website as to whether they would do anything useful. Um, <laughs> there's, there's also, by the way, save mass stages. We are working on building a coalition in are the you guys state of leaving? Shock. No, that was almost done. Back to work. Oh. Okay, we'll hang out. Yeah. We're just trying to say hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hi. Chuck, hi. Hi. Chuck, who's at your house? It's like a social distance backyard thing going on. In, yeah, Chuck, you can wear a mask in the video and then act like this. Okay. And I'm, We're like, okay. really next to each other. Yeah, I'm the only one wearing a mask, so, you know. In the video? Where is it now, Chuck? Um, what? <laughs> I, can't, I can't hear you. What? <laughs> <laughs> is this thing on? <laughs> Is this thing on? Oh my God, what's the what's the what's the what's the Sadly. cousin's name in in Chevy Chase right now? What's his name? Cousin Eddie. Cut Eddie. Cousin, cousin Fred. <laughs> the train has officially gone off the tracks. Yeah. You know. All right. All right. Everyone's left, so it's just me again. Sorry. Okay. Good. All right. That's all right. Not uh, that listen, we don't I, like your friends, but, uh, no, but I have no idea what you're saying when you're off the... I, I, and Joe, can we, like, you've asked me a lot of questions and it was easy for me to answer them, I think, because, you know, I tried to drive all these kids, but they all jumped in and they all jumped in feet first. So, like, um, I'm, I would love to hear just sort of their opinions. Like, you know, Dave was hard to corral, but at the last minute he... <laughs> He showed up with a he showed up with a counter melody at the end that was just mm. uh, unreal and 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 he was just like well I just think this has to be in there I think he recorded it on his phone I mean Dave you want to tell us about that I mean it I just... would love to hear it yeah, no I mean that was kind of it um, yeah like I got a lot going on these days and I've been a little uh, out of touch and I was following the text thread but I was late to the game in terms of coming up with uh, a way to get something recorded and. It was like the last day, Dan was like, this is the last day to do something. Tell me if you got anything. And uh, I was like, I, I have no way to record it. He's like, just do a voice memo on your phone and we'll make it work. And I heard this little, like, it was his lyrics from earlier in the song. And I thought it would fit as a counter melody at the end. So I did it in a couple of takes and he, he made it work. He does, he's, he's like a game corraler of humans, but also like, you know, taking things and fitting them together and making them work. And uh it was really impressive just to see, like, over the month, watching everyone else. Like, each day, Dan would send a new mix with the things that people had added. And even though I was kind of, like, sitting it out, it was amazing to watch and feel and, like, hear, you know, hear the impact of what each person brought to the song. Yeah. And honestly, I was just happy to get a little bit in at the end because it was it's good to be a part of it. Yeah. I mean, and he's not yeah. here, but, but Craig. Um, yeah. I mean, if someone else want to take what Craig did to the song, because I mean, I, I'd love to climb inside that guy's brain and hear what he hears in his ears. But I, yeah, he for, for for anybody who's who's watching is not aware of this. Craig Small is brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. He's not yeah. here to to blush, but he'd be like, ah, cut it out. He's <laughs> fucking brilliant. Yeah, no, I mean a lot. Like, like, I mean, all of a sudden, you know, when I started mixing and actually <sighs> finally hearing the, the harmonies and stuff that were there i was like jesus christ it's like fucking you know because you mix them all in and i mean there's some rough mixes of this song where it sounds like everybody yelling in a bar and there was something endearing <laughs> <laughs> i like this call but it's but at some point we had to decide that it was going to become something else um and craig sort of set the bar for what that was going to become without me knowing um yeah and then there's nate's guitar part which i'll let him talk about or maybe yeah. someone else maybe chad can talk about it. another guitar player will have reflecting on nate but i heard nothing but like dude that guitar part man fucking that yeah. guitar part that guitar part that's what i mean when we had that call with Nate when we were doing my stuff and Nate's like, ah, maybe I should redo it. We were just like, what? It's like perfect, man. Like that electric guitar is perfect. Maybe just strum a little acoustic on top, but leave it alone. Like everything's perfect. Like the song was just perfect. Yeah. It, it, it the way it came together was, was pretty miraculous. But I think what we all have had to do in the last 
years is adapt how we can keep making art and and the amount of we've all worked with each other in some capacity but the amount of trust in in our in our ideas and i mean to throw out a, a, a demo and have it turn into what it is is I don't know. I still don't know if I if I fully realize how 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 much of a of a gem the song is. Mm. Um, I I saw that right away. It made it almost yeah, a joke. Yeah, did too. <laughs> we it probably did too. Crazy you know. how like how it kept evolving like each mix. It was funny like the initial mix. You're like okay, but then it just started. It was like started to get more and more massive and cohesive, and everything started blending more. So that evolution was really. It was unique. more and more widescreen. Yeah. Yeah, like, and it, more so than I think you get from like a mix where it's just your band and you really know the song cold. Like this definitely was kind of being created as you were mixing. It was a bit more magic than like the stuff you normally do in the studio because you've got a there's something that sounds like saxophone is there saxophone on it or what is that can somebody that's explain really, that thing <laughs> what is that that's, that's phil aiken man that's okay that, cool that, that's phil like just <laughs> murdering, just murdering organ you know sprinkling um, some magic yeah. yeah he did he did he did take one and take two and then his old bandmate called him and they figured out take four which is weird because it went from like take two to take four <laughs> like i never saw take three um but it, i mean dropbox man shout out to dropbox um you know because i mean hell who knows how this would have all been kept together and derek i'm sorry that everyone didn't use dropbox for you um, we'll try to work on that for next time. <laughs> no worries. I got <laughs> you did. I was always amazed. Like when I saw the stuff that came over, like I'd get like a text and then an email and then like a Dropbox and I just like figure out a way to send them to Derek. And then I get a copy of the video back with all that stuff in there. And it was just, it's just amazing. I mean, so Derek has wrangling. <laughs> yeah. Derek is, Derek is, um, he's a, Sorry, he's a, by the way, if you need to make a video, just, just, Shoot your footage and send it to Derek. Like, right. I'm not a cameraman. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but but shoot it and send it to Derek. I mean, we, he did another video that'll be another Henley Rowe All Stars video um, coming out within the next month or so. Uh, one of one of Chad songs actually. What's the um, next project? That was going to be one of my questions. What's next on the the docket? Yes, Chad. Uh, so um, at the beginning of all this covid bullshit i got so sick of guitar like just was so bored with it i wasn't playing with anybody so it just everything just sucked mm -hmm. um so i just started experimenting with open tunings on guitar and i just started to come up with these little riffs and i was like oh this is cool and i'm like i remembered that instagram unless you have you know unless you use igtv you can only play a minute video mm -hmm. so i would just make these songs perfectly you know close to a minute and uh, with alter, all of them are alternate tunings, all on acoustic. Um, and the tuning has to be different every time. I can mix it up, but I wanted to do as many different tunings as I could. And uh, I think the fifth one I did, I put it out in like an hour later, Dan just sends me a voice text of him singing over the riff I wrote. And it was just, I was like, what? What's going on? This is incredible. And he talked to me and we just got into it. And um Brought Nate in. Nate figured out a third part for the song. Those guys arranged mm -hmm. it. Um, then we took the rhythm inquisition, Eric and uh, Chuck, and put it together. So, and and then Derek with the video, unbelievable. It looks, it looks amazing. Shout out. Looks it's amazing. Uh, Brian Charles cool. did the mastering, of course, and it just sounds killer. And we're looking forward to putting that out in the world. Yeah. Soon. Soon, right? Soonish. Yeah, I mean, we thought it would be the first one, but it ended up being. Had to show all of this. You know, because we had milk and cookies first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, shout out to Rashawa for getting it done. And the then, other yeah, Ra so the other Raleigh. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're we're uh, yes that that little guy, um, and his brother who's over here next to me, mad that I'm not DJing yet. Yeah, are we cutting? We're cutting into uh, the 
nickel and of these. I mean, that's all right. We're gonna. I mean, the, the. I mean, the whole purpose. I think at this point, we have uh, three sales so far for fourteen dollars. We have raised fourteen dollars so far. Um, so hopefully that will improve. So let's, let's drive that home. Henley Row. Dot Bandcamp. Dot com. Buy the song. Buy the song, and you are matching. Old Jack will match up to X amount, and proceeds. Wow are intended to go to the Lizard Lounge staff, bartender and uh, engineer primarily, and others. Oh, look at who magically showed up. That's amazing. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's gone. He's back. He's gone. He's back. Who was it? Come on, bud. Come on in. Megan, up, uh? Megan and Eric, your focus has shifted a little bit. Has Have your songs been driven more um, family-friendly? <laughs> I would say, uh, but, oh, Eric, mostly we just. Oh, <laughs> hi, babe. No, okay, oh, wait, I want to talk. Move that. Um, <laughs> but I, wanted, I wanted to give a shout out to Dan for not only wrangling, but motivating because yeah. a, lot, a lot of people have been very productive. A lot of people on this call have been very productive all pandemic. I am somebody who has not been, even before. Well, I not uh, exactly, think, yeah, but yes, and I it's don't think you can say that. You produce probably more than anybody that you. <laughs> yeah. I only do it when people drag me kicking and screaming. And Dan is somebody who I want to thank for dragging me, <laughs> because he sent this, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, no, I've got a newborn. It's not happening." And he's like, "Just, just send me some box." I'm like, "Fine, just send me some keys too." I'm like, "So on Christmas Day, this one took the baby in the rain for a walk, so I had an hour, and I was like, do all the things, do all the things.'" And then Dan was like, okay, send me some video. I'm like, that's not happening. But like every <laughs> single thing, he's like, come on, just, just come on, Megan, come on. And like, I have needed, like needed people like Dan this entire time to do this. So I wanted to say that I also just really appreciate all you guys who are so hyper productive and also motivating to people like me who would rather kind of just be like, meh, I'm just going to sit here and watch TV and stare at my kid. Like, so thank you. <laughs> Um, and by the way, how did you train your baby not to speak, uh, cry during Zoom? Um, <laughs> Pretty oh, impressive. He's been, um, I wouldn't say crying. She's been fussing for about the past three hours. She stopped five minutes before the Zoom call. Five minutes. I've never yeah. used the word fussy so much in my life. I've never used the word fussy. <laughs> she gets a lot of lullabies. We sing to her a lot. I saw actually yeah, I sung this I song earlier today or yesterday or one of the days. Yeah, it's stuck in my head. It's in the, the rotation of lullabies. So, it definitely is. Yeah. Because so. well, we're raising money for the lizard lounge. That's right. That's right. That's why it's a big lizard. Yeah. Right. My, wife a, a, um, my wife made me a Miley Cyrus shirt for. I'm admiring that. That's lovely. That's a solid yeah. gift. You know, if, if you guys don't tell me, um, I'm going to just keep talking until you tell me you can't do this anymore. You know so it's all fine. on you. I mean, Facebook's Paul and I see each other like every moment. Hour. Did the video play yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess I missed that. Yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's, still, on, it's still it, up on the Facebook oh, I page. Missed it. <laughs> Chuck, you missed it while the bumpus hounds were running through your house. That's right. <laughs> right. <laughs> By the way, there is patches for you all. Patches for you all. Not a thing. And, and patches for anybody who buys right now. Like, so anybody who buys for, you know, if you buy this single for the next few days, we'll get you a Henley Row All Stars patch. You can, you can have one. We've ordered them. Um, they'll be here in January. And they're, um, we made them black, you know, because Boston's a black t shirt kind of town, whereas I like my white stuff. Um, but you know, so we've ordered those and um, drummer headphones. What's that for this? So none of us can hear what's going on. Right. I love to do Chuck. You rule. Like by the way, like you're a little like you're you're non. Like do you do you do you paint and not do stuff like this during the day? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> do I paint? I just need to for for us people who like spend time on these like every single day. Like this is like you you're like. You're like the guy in the meeting who's just like. Fucking guy, Jesus Christ. 
Yes, yes, yes. yes. Paul, Paul knows what I'm it. talking about. Punch. He spends a lot. He's like, geez, someone mute him. Get him the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> At least somebody's having a party right now. Chuck has a party. Yeah, why didn't we all get an invite to Chuck's house? Yeah, right? Chuck Chuck Chuck. Chuck. Hey, Chuck, Chuck, I would have brought a dog. At least one. I know you would have. Thank God you did for it. Halloween. Sleeping bag that's rated 20 below. Come on, I'm ready to rumble. <laughs> All right, I, I yeah, know, rumble. I know, Angel, Otis. let's talk to you. Yeah, let's talk rumble. Otis would have been ready for let's some Let's talk fun. to you, Angel. Let's, let's turn the tables here a little bit. Okay, I'm just anything. the guy to do it. I'm just the guy to do it. <laughs> Tell us about, you know, that we lost once. What's, what's happening with the rumble? What are you thinking about? Well, my honest answer is I don't see it. I don't know that it can happen in 2021 for all of the obvious reasons, because there's no certainty at all anywhere. Um, but because the the nature of the rumble is, and everybody I think on this has been in the rumble, except for my husband, unfortunately. I'm very sorry, Paul. Um, is that possible? He, wow. It, I, I'm couldn't, the, uh, I couldn't. I couldn't do it, unfortunately. Uh, I mixed, because I mixed the rumble show once, but that was before Angel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you've all been involved in, in one way or the other. And, um, it's just, there's so, there's so many layers to planning the rumble, you know, no bands have been together or practiced or been in the same room for how long, um, <laughs> sponsors, right? Sponsorship. Who's going to give me money right now to, you know, who's going to give me thousands of dollars to sponsor an event? That's a question mark. Where am I going to have it? You know, the thing about once is. You know, I, I, I love once and I did not want once to go away, but we see the inevitable, um, you know, and, and the, once was the devil, you know, you know, TT's was the devil I knew, you know, nothing's perfect, but it worked, you know, I made it work because I worked hard to make it work. I don't, I don't know that we can pull that off between now and you know, in, in years to, within the next year's time. So 2022. Uh, yes. Yeah. So Jed's article, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it was fit. Jed's fantastic. Jed is such a, such He's a. He's got to get in a headlock and like give him a noogie. He's such a great cheerleader. Thank God for Jed Gottlieb, man. It looked you know, like he gotta... wanted um David. It looked like he wanted Eddie Japan to be back in it. Like yeah, what yeah. Was that yeah. all about? Eddie Japan. Yeah. Let's Rumble just again. let's just wipe the slate clean and start all over again. Yeah, that's it. That's let's do it. Awesome. That'd be so. I, like, I want to be in One Night Band again and play the Sinclair. Oh, like, I feel so like cool. for all of us that played the Middle East, we got ripped off. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, oh right. What are you talking started, about? That was right. like one of the that was one of the greatest musical nights of my life. Are you kidding? That was. Oh, yeah, steam, steam, the steam, steam roller. Hey. Dude, oh, I put that, if I could play that song right now, I would, because that song was amazing. That was fun. <laughs> no, I don't know. You know, will will we do the rumble again? Oh hell yeah! When? Who the fuck knows? All right, I like it. I'm going to need answer. everybody's help, so I'll be calling on all of you. And <laughs> Jill, you know what could yeah. be a great spot for 2022? Yeah. The new great Scott, which is going to be a true yeah. venue with that's the new one. That's what we were just saying. That's what Jed said, too. And that's why I said we need to get Carl in a headlock and give him a noogie. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. I don't know. It's I don't a, think I like it's that right in line with Jed. I, I don't think something like that's impossible. I actually did talk to, you know, great Scott about doing something. And, um, you know, it was definitely before everything happened with great Scott on the, on the Com Ave location. The, the one sticking point for Great Scott in the past has been because there's such an active stop for touring acts that spring is spring is hard. Um, you know, they were all for it, um, but it would have to shift. But, you know, the good thing about, and I'm trying to stay positive about, about everything, right? I'm like, hey, 2020, hey, 2020 sucked, but people making music was amazing. Let's face it. People making music was great. I have stacks and stacks and stacks of, well, virtually, but stacks and stacks and stacks of new music that came through that was incredible. Um, the, the great thing about sort of restarting everything is that I can, I can recreate things, right? So maybe the rumble isn't in April. Maybe it's some other time. Who knows? Outdoor summer, summer rumble festival. <laughs> like Possible. It's all possible. I love and it. Jill, would the um would the bands from 2020 um 
get first crack at the next one. I feel so bad for the bands who got asked and then I did too. Get shut down. <laughs> you know, I thought about that. I think, you know, my first thought was, you know, let's see what happens. Maybe do some sort of lottery for the, the 24 bands who were, you know, let's see who's still together. Yeah. And um, and then maybe do some sort of yeah. I think fair is fair. I think that I would love to, I would love to in incorporate some of those bands that were you know some of the bands. I'll be honest with you because I have no reason not to. Some bands I never heard from again, mm -hmm. um, but I did hear from a lot of bands who kept in touch, and those are the people that I really, I really want to you know take care of if 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 it works. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was a weird time, right? You think you're yeah. going, like, you're going into the rumble, and then you find out like we're all staying home, putting masks on. I mean, I announced the bands on on three eleven on March eleventh, and then we basically canceled everything oh, three days have, later. You should have known as soon as you did it on three eleven that it was over. I mean, there's <laughs> nothing good about the the, the, the three eleven. <laughs> the band the, the dates clearly that'll be like the, it's like the ides of march at this point especially um 3 11 ah jesus so we have stuff happening I, I i really i really do want people to try to donate to this page and see what they can do um and try to raise some money for these bartenders and because mm -hmm. if not i'll probably end up trying to do it all myself and i really don't want to do that um but because it, it is actually an important cause. So if everybody could just post about it for the next few days. Um, mm -hmm. But Erica has some wonderful stuff coming out. Um, her next single is unbelievable. And, and, and Lisa's next single is, is, you know, we've got to finish up dark and get that rolling. And that's unbelievable. And, and, uh, you know, some of the, I mean, we're not really talking about it here, but the, you know, Dave and Nate and I have, formed a band and there's a whole record going on that's unbelievable um I, I, I mean you know can't wait to hear what 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 mr santos has got going on with those guys and mm -hmm. and uh mm -hmm. and old jack has five songs and or four and a half songs or three and a half songs in the can and and mm -hmm. i mean and, and so you know we've got stuff with this all-star stuff going on with everybody here there's an all-star song and I, i'm just I've heard Guys, some I'm of the airport stuff air. too. Um, I don't know if Paul will mention it, but I've heard some of the airport stuff they're working on. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, there's a cover coming out that's mm, it's awesome. Woo! Hell no! Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's like one of my favorite bands in the whole world, and yep. it's like I didn't know that I would ever appreciate anyone ever even like stepping remotely close to it. Like it's pretty much like my Led Zeppelin. Like really, cover, that don't band. Cover that. Don't cover that. Yeah, like don't wow. cover that. Like no, in that way. Like not, mm -hmm. not in the way of like oh they changed my world, but like don't cover that band in particular. Like mm. you don't stand a fucking chance. Well, that's why you try to cover it if you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. But I mean, have you ever heard a Led Zeppelin cover <laughs> that worked? Hard, hard, hard. Just, just a heart. Just a heart. Lisa. Oh no, no, Lisa. <laughs> I'm sorry. Made Robert. That first song that was great. I mean, it's spot on to the original almost, but like still. What one? Um, the was it? Oh my God, Megan. Is that old Evermore? Fair way to heaven. They do Stairway to Heaven too. Don't forget, Dolly Parton did a pretty rockin' version of Stairway to Heaven. It's pretty awesome. Ooh, see, pretty. Have Dolly you heard Ann Wilson's version of it? Oh, she she kind of humbles them. I think it's that good. Uh, well, anybody remember okay. Dread Zeppelin? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I have actually oh, seen them in New York on I tour. Mean, the same first here, album. Same here. <laughs> I uh, one of my bands called Red Zeppelin at the Middle East downstairs. I remember they were nice guys. <laughs> they, were, they were actually we're officially about to start talking about Elvis. <laughs> That's where it goes. <laughs> That's where we've all gone now. We're oh, all right at Elvis. Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> I all right, love Dan, all you guys. Are we are we, uh, are we cutting into your DJ time? Because I'll keep talking. <laughs> I mean, I don't really like, I, I just, I mean, if I'm going to DJ, right, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to stand by myself, which is where I was. Well, you're outside of the lizard lounge. So you might need to keep the lizard. Where I was for the last nine months. I was on my Facebook, own. Facebook will just don't kick you off anyway. falling off. 
And for the people that are here, their patio is still open. So it's like one of the few places in the city where you can still go out and do an outdoor socially distanced beverage or a snack. And like, I didn't know that. Um, if you want to support them as well as here and you're in the neighborhood and you want to, you know, tip, go there and tip well. Like, <laughs> there's that too. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I, and again, the last thing I could say is this song doesn't have to make you want to buy something for the Lizard Lounge. Like, if it makes you want to, if you have a favorite bartender that you used to see every Saturday, like go find them and give them a tip. If you have a, if you have a favorite sound person that you always used to see on a regular basis, like figure out a way to find them and give them a tip. If, if there's like, I was going to make whatever you can do, joke, but I decided not to. Yeah. I, I mean, I wish I could have heard it to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> never gave me her name. She was so great. Uh, oh, well played. well played. Well played. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that really wasn't, I wasn't trying to take it there. Um, but yeah, you get the idea, everybody. Like, just, just for, and I know all the guys and, and gals here do, but, you know, just take whatever it makes you feel. Like, wherever your favorite bar is, like, figure out a way to donate to them. If you knew somebody's in wait staff, ask them if they're okay. Like, you know, I mean, I, I don't. Yeah, I mean, just ask them if they're all right and yeah. see if there's any way you can help. Yeah. You know, it's um, it's a lot right now. Like, and it's a lot and it's a lot. There's a lot of people who have lost their livelihoods and lost their jobs and lost their everything. And those are people that we used to look at on the regular basis and be like, uh, like, you know, hey, fuck yeah. Like, here's a dollar. Like, give them that. Give them that, you know. I mean, uh, I, shit, the amount of money I've saved in bartender tips this year, I definitely owe some money to somebody. You? <laughs> Hell yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. My two favorite things in the world, going to shows and eating in restaurants, have, it's like, I feel like that's like 60% of my income. I'm like, oh, yeah. We, we feel that. We feel it every day. I, we feel yeah. it every day. It's like, oh, we can cook at home? What the hell is that? Like, what is that? <laughs> like, what's a stove? Do you, do you know how to use this thing? Mm. How do you fold mm. in cheese, David? <laughs> <I'm> a... <laughs> if none of you know that one, then go find it. Like, on the wait internet. a minute. If I sit down at a table in my house, food and a cocktail just doesn't show up. No. Nope. Nope. You actually got to put some money. Like, oh, my God. I don't want to like, wash what? these dishes. Screw that. I actually drink less because of it, because I don't like making my own drinks. Oh, yeah. Oh, I God, want someone to God, make yeah. it for me. God, it's yeah. It's better when somebody makes it's not, it. It's, it's not to say I won't stop drinking, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Only <laughs> row has a fridge full of beer if you want to come yeah, record. Yeah. <laughs> plenty of drink. There's plenty of beer. It's it's really great to see everybody. Oh, my gosh. Good to see you guys, too. Cheers, everybody. Look at Nate's fancy champagne situation. Why is wow. he being such a gentleman? That's classy. She's ready for New Year's. Nate, Nate is like the cover photograph of like cigar aficionado man. I know he's like yeah. the second <laughs> guy. <laughs> like, what a stylist musician. Yeah. What, just, what's uh, awesome uh, is that's how you guys all see him. I'm like he's I, I actually see my name is Nate Levitt. I'm a ladies man. I see his next <laughs> promo photo right now. That's what I see. So I remember that time that he did that you did the ballerina thing I have and not, like I have my and more than all the other men. Nate got all the ballerinas. <laughs> Have you seen my guitars? I'll serenade you. Pal, <laughs> 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 we haven't done I'm ladies' just, glad. Oh, I forgot. I'm just glad that, uh, that, you know, I don't have to drink the whole bottle alone because you guys are all here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was I hope not feel as bad. That was my worst COVID <laughs> joke ever. I got on a work call. We, we were doing a work call for, for with a business partner of ours that had a weekly call at the beginning of COVID every Friday afternoon, they do a, a happy hour. So I got on with a bottle of Pappy Van Winkle and they were like, Dan, you have to give a speech today. Cause you're like, this is your first trip and your first time here. And, and someone had told me ahead of time and I was like, that's great. And I was like, so I'd like to say, you know, thank you to you guys and the Lloyd group and, you know, for everything that you've done for us. And then I was like, um, and I would like to, um, I said, and I'd like to thank COVID for the fact that I'm drinking some Pappy and I don't have to share it with any of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they were all like, whoa. And I just, <laughs> oh, 
Uh, always mildly inappropriate. Mildly. All right, yeah, everybody. Great seeing everybody. Everyone. We're gonna <laughs> go hang you. with the kids. Go Dan, Dan, thank you so much for doing this. Thanks for having me on it. We'll be promoted from my page, from Susan's page, putting her Hi, next Susan. email. Hi. Hi. Susan, what do you have going on? Music? Um, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm recording a duo with Paul Hansen of the Oh, Voice. he's fantastic. He's so and great. We, I love Paul Hansen. We're called Honest Mechanic because it's a rare thing and it you'd go a far distance for one. It's so. amazing. <laughs> it, like it's a, it's an amazing record. I've been listening to the two of them writing in the living room for two years, and I'm like, oh, maybe we should do a record. And like a yeah, I'm super excited about it. I miss no, you guys. Too. I'm sorry, I've had like a terrible cold the whole time. So I, I was singing along with Dino, but I'm like, I can't, I can't be part of this. But I'm part of it. I'm a part of it in a in a spiritual sense and certainly in a social media sense. So thank you so much, Dan, for putting it together. It made me very thank sad to watch people. it. It's a beautiful song. Thank you. It's really nice. Song. It's really beautiful. Well, I mean, th thank all these people because it was just a you know, it was just another thing prior to all of them. So um, it, 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 you know, you can write a million songs, but you can't make a million songs that sound like that when you're done. So um, yeah, yeah, anyone, well, who writes, anyone who writes songs knows that it's just a melody and an idea for it to turn into what it turned into was um, really beautiful. And I'm incredibly appreciative of everybody who put their time in, especially that guy down in the corner who's on mute, Derek, but it, it just for, visualizing it like i feel like today 50 percent of what we do is some form of visual and for him to take the misfits of things that we all sent him <laughs> like you know and turn it into an actual cohesive thing that you could watch that's pretty awesome but i will say one thing dan and nate like a lot of the times you know and we have all been part of a number of these when people in the scene get together for a cause a lot of the times people get really excited. You have a lot of fabulous people on it and they don't pay attention to the song. And it, you know, it, it sounds great because you have a lot of talented people on it, but the song is up. And to have a song like this, like the song that you guys wrote for this specific, cause it's really, truly special. So, and I want to cry, fuck. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel the same way, man. I've, I've been teary eyed. I, I think Angela almost teared up at the beginning and, I think we've all had our moments with this particular song, just the idea that it will go on and it will go on guys. Well, like it's, the show it's compounded by so many things for us, you know, yeah. it's, oh, it's, yeah. there's so much in there. Yeah. I mean, it's a very specific song about a very specific place. And if you know that place, it's very genuine to you. And I sent it to my sister in England and she's a theater actress and she's basically out of work. And she was like, I want to send this to every one of my friends. And I was like, go for it. Like, you know, because it's very specific to them too, even though they've never stepped foot into the Lizard Lounge ever, you know? So it, it yeah. you know, it, we got it right. So I, I'm psyched about that. And, and you guys all made it happen. So, um, when, you know, it's time for like, I hope there's a big Renaissance, you know, I feel like, yeah. People are going to be so excited to be able to hear any black music again. I think they're going to lose their minds. You know? Chuck's already lost his mind. <laughs> oh my God, Chuck. <laughs> I just Where's the cauldron that you got? What's your oh I don't God. have a bulldog to right. hold up. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go play some music and try to wind 2000 and whatever <laughs> year this is out of fucking here. Like, like, here we go. I hope hey, Facebook will keep yeah. me on until midnight. See you guys. Family. Love you guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy Chuck. Happy New Year. What's up, Chuck? Dan, we need a New Year's night, AM Gold night. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, tomorrow some, night. Tomorrow night. Some AM Gold right now, but tomorrow there's night. The, I, don't, I don't know what I'm about to play, but I'm about to play music you right now. Are you doing stuff on Twitch? Where are you doing your thing? I'm just going to go to Facebook Live and see how long oh, we can fight the, fight the robot. Yeah, I'm getting booted. Happy All New Year. Right. Happy New Year. 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 Happy New Year.